Well, Smithers, now that Harry Shearer is no longer able to do my voice, we have to find a substitute. Do you have any names? Uh, the name here is Mike O'Mara, sir. Excellent. Uh, you asked me to brief you on his educational qualifications, Mr. Burns. Yes, bring in Principal Skinner to discuss his qualifications. He barely made it out of the eighth grade, Mr. Burns. Yes, but will that affect his compensation? I don't believe so, sir. He's not able to even read a contract. Well, he sounds like a perfect candidate. Is he a Republican? Count on it, sir. Smithers, what about his religious background? I'm glad you asked, sir. We're going to bring Mr. Flanders in right now to discuss his religious beliefs. Well, buenos ding dong diddly dee, senor. I'll tell you right now, he's a religious man. I believe he's reformed Nazi Quaker. Reformed Nazi Quaker? That's not one of those cults, is it, Flanders? Well, I've never seen him at my church, sir. Have you ever had the opportunity to worship with him? Oh, no, diddly oh. I just see him on the street in the neighborhood once in a while to say hi, diddly eye, neighbor. What about you, Reverend Lovejoy? Well, I'll tell you that when I see him on the street, it's always me feeling good about myself. I think he's a fine, upstanding citizen. And a long, long time ago, in a land far, far away, he used to drive a school bus. Wow, man. Thank you, Otto. All in all, he's a very upstanding citizen, sir. Yes, but will he work for peanuts? Less than that, sir. I believe he'll work for cashews. Well, Principal Skinner, Otto, uh, Otto... How did you get in here? Hey, man, I got a friend in the mailroom. Whoa! Release the hounds. This bulletin just in. That was the scene in Mr. Burns' office. Michael Mara, given the job, is the new voice of Mr. Burns, Otto, Principal Skinner, Reverend Lovejoy, and Ned Flanders. This is Kent Brockman reporting live. (laughs) 